And just like that, he's gone. The speculation ran rampant for weeks. Who is Merok? Barris? Starkiller himself? Ezra Bridger? Well, as it seems, everyone was wrong. With one slash across the torso, Merok is no more. So who was he? What was he? A few people in the comments have pointed out that he could have been a resurrected Inquisitor brought back to life by Lady Elsbeth. As far as I'm aware, we don't see Merok until she is freed from the New Republic custody in the beginning of the first episode. So how does this work exactly? That is beyond me. I'm not the most knowledgeable about the Star Wars universe, and when it comes to the Night Sister sorcery and witchcraft, I'm quite inexperienced. If this is the case, I'm sure there is some comic somewhere that shows this kind of resurrection on account of dark magic. I also find it interesting that Shin Hattie was quite aware and pretty shocked when Merak was struck down, as if she could feel his life force leave his body, and it makes me wonder whether or not he was even a real being. Or maybe he was almost entirely spirit, which is why he deflated after he was struck down. And this is very reminiscent of how Ahsoka defeated the Inquisitor in Tales of the Jedi. Whatever was behind that mask seemed to deflate in a very similar way. Another detail that I love about this fight is that the final act of the duel is very brief. I'm sure many of you picked up on the parallels between this scene and the one between Maul and Kenobi in the Twin Suns episodes of Rebels. A very clean, quick, and efficient end to the duel that displays complete control and mastery in combat. And also notice how calm she is in this fight, just as she was against the other Inquisitor. The opponent relied on intimidation to catch Ahsoka off guard. He went to strike. Ahsoka finds her opening, makes her move, and the fight is over. A beautiful duel, some brilliant storytelling, and a great episode.